Hunting with Debbie and Skibidoo. And today, we're gonna do Tiffany. Tiffany is something I really didn't know I was gonna come across when I started Pandora hunting. But I did, and I was really thrilled to. Okay, my Tiffany collection. Today I'm gonna share that with you. Okay, doing Pandora hunting, I just happened to come across a few people that said, if you're interested in Pandora, are you gonna be interested in the rest of my um, collection of jewelry? And I said, it depends on what you have. And turns out sometimes I got offered this. I absolutely love the quality of Tiffany. Tiffany feels like no other silver. It almost feels silk. So that's a big hint when you're looking for Tiffany jewelry. If once it's polished, and even if you carry just a little polishing cloth with you, any really good polishing cloth, these I get on Amazon. I think I get 50 of them for $12, actually. And um, I found these after I couldn't buy my favorite one anymore, which was my Pandora cloth. Anyways, I came across some Tiffany bracelets. One of these is this one, which turned up in uh, one of my Christmas um, videos. And I think I paid 40 or $50 for this. And that's about the average of what I pay for a Tiffany bracelet, which sounds crazy, but that's what has happened. This one here, I actually got at um, Talese. This one came from Talese. It was in a ball like this in the jewelry case and it was black 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 and i think it was 14.99 so as soon as i seen it was 14.99 i knew they didn't know what it was i picked it up and i felt the rings and i noticed on the rings you can't tell where it's been soldered together it's done so nicely and i did a tiny little cleaning spot with one of my cleaning cloths. At the time, it was a Pandora one. And sure enough, the heart felt like silk. These bracelets have had many, many different designs. So if you find a bracelet and you go online and you go, yeah, that's not Tiffany. No, do a further search because there has been many, many, many different shaped hearts, different size, whether it was um, plain or whether it had the gorgeous symbol on it or not, meaning this one. This bracelet came in many different forms. And I was lucky enough, this was one. This looked much better when I got it. I have pretty much worn this bracelet probably around the clock for almost five years. It's had a lot of wear. And it's also been worn with many a Pandora bracelets mixed in. So it's had some dings and scratches and it's held up unbelievably. Really, really good quality. This one was from the year before, last year or the year before, I believe. It's actually on my um, hunt. I seen this come up on the newspaper and I answered her and I said, sure, I'd be there. And from the time she listed it to the time I picked it up was literally 15 minutes. And it was from out of town. I was lucky enough to see it first and answer her first and then go get it. So she just wanted to get rid of it because it was an old boyfriend's 
um, uh, it was bought from an old boyfriend and she didn't want it anymore. That one. Okay, the, the one that I've bought most recently is this little one. It's a tiny, tiny little one. And this one was my last year fine, or this year fine, the beginning of the year. I found this at a, a kind of a pawn shop. And it was $70. Great deal. I know these go for $200 now, $175 to $200 with, um, with uh, um, tax. Pretty hard to find. I've kept this one in good shape. I haven't worn it much because it's really delicate and I didn't want the chain to stretch much. This one I've got many, many years ago and it's the version of the ball chain one but it's the larger ball and I wore this around the clock for quite a few years and yeah it, it stretched a bit when I did get it it was maybe one ball width there so it would move around and I think it's gotten a little bit more by now I don't remember what I paid for this, but I never go over $100, and I'm pretty sure I got this one for around $60. Love it, and I do only pay that for the reason. If I'm more convinced that it's real, I'll pay more, but I'll never pay more than $100 for a Tiffany item because I know how easy it is to come across a fake one and if you come across a fake one and you've put a lot of money out that is more of a sting so even if I'm a almost 100% sure it's Tiffany if I get it wrong it's not going to hurt too much okay then it comes to the pearl one this one is beautiful it looks absolutely stunning i am 99.9 .9 positive it is tiffany because i've had so many people say yes it's tiffany i worked at tiffany i know it's real and then i've had other people that have said no it's not so for the fact that i don't work at tiffany if there's that much doubt about something, I'm gonna be leery, but this is a very, very well done piece. It's gorgeous. I'm very, very, very afraid to damage it. So I don't wear it a lot, but it looks so nice on. It's a really, really pretty bracelet. Am I convinced it's Tiffany? No, is the quality Tiffany? Yeah, it really is. All right, this is going to be probably one of my shortest videos, but I think I don't have a lot of Tiffany pieces because they're so expensive and I haven't gone out and bought them completely brand new. All right, another piece I found in. Um, a uh, pre-love store. This was found in Value Village. And I'm 100% positive this is an authentic piece because it was done in partnership with Clinique. And it's a tag. And it's star stamp Tiffany & Co. on the back. It's really pretty. I was going to get it on one of these charm bracelets, possibly this one. I've actually got another Tiffany charm bracelet like this without a heart on it. And I've been looking for two days to try and find it and I can't find it, but I know what's in the house. So I may save that tag for that. Along with that tag, I found another one that I sometimes put 
on a chain and I grabbed this one and this one I found at was it style on yeah it was style encore in Burlington and it's this adorable like absolutely adorable little puppy and he was made as an exclusive for the year of the dog and you can see all of that on the back I'm this one I'm 100% positive it's Tiffany it's adorable it's gorgeous I've been using him as a pendant and he looks like scuba dude super cute oh I said scuba dude and I hear him walking down the hall so so cute and you can see the difference in the size between that and this and this Clinique one is basically the size of a normal tag on a Tiffany bracelet. So the Scuba Dude one is really tiny. Well, not tiny. It's like half the size, but he's much bigger than the little Tiffany heart on the smaller bracelet. See, now I can't get this to... It's bigger than that. I love this one almost the most because he looks like my dude. And I'm more afraid of losing him than anything else. All right. These pieces, I'm almost 100% sure these are Tiffany. The Tiffany pile. Let's get to the... I am 100... Well, I have one more than I'm almost 100% sure is Tiffany, but it's old. And this one I never wear because it's easily dinged up. I'm so, so believing it's Tiffany. It's a bangle bracelet. And each one of these bangles inside has Tiffany and Co. on it. There's one of them there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe there's two and the middle one has it too. Pretty sure this is Tiffany. But if it's not, guess what? I paid $18 for it, again, at a thrift shop. So I'm okay with it not being. All right, on to the ones that I know are definitely not. But they really, really look like Tiffany. And so these are silver. They are 925 silver. They are copies though. I'm 100%, well, maybe not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure these are not Tiffany. Because Tiffany, I'm pretty sure, would not put 925 and their logo on the same side. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I'm pretty sure these are fake. The silver does not feel the same it just feels a bit off but the soldering is really st still very good on this I'm thinking it's a maybe but I'm pretty sure it's uh, maybe not and that one brings me to this one this one is also a close runner-up And I really wish this one was real because this one is very desirable and people seem to want to pay a lot of money for this one. And this is the necklace. Have I worn it? No, not really. I probably should, but this one I pretty well knew it wasn't Tiffany, even with the position of this um, stamp. So, no, I never wore it. Will I keep it? Probably. So, that's the Tiffany collection. I don't have a lot, but everything I have, I've not paid full price for. And I'm sorry to say I've never been in a Tiffany store. If I go in a Tiffany store, 
I just might end up buying something Tiffany. But the nearest Tiffany outlet or store is probably an hour and a half drive from here. So I've never been there. Do I want to? Yeah, no, not sure. It, it is silver, so um, the thought of paying five to seven hundred dollars for a bracelet is a lot. I know that doesn't say much for the amount of collection of things that I do have, but um, if I didn't have just one piece, I probably would want a Tiffany piece, but since I've been lucky to come across these pieces, I haven't found the need to go and buy a piece of Tiffany yet. Do I feel guilty? Yeah, <laughs> kind of do. But um, I'm really happy with these pieces. So. That's the Tiffany collection. Um, oh, I do have one more that, well, actually I've got a few more that I know are not Tiffany and that are reproductions. This um, mesh bracelet. I'm pretty sure this is a Tiffany. It's all bent pieces so if this was real I would feel pretty upset um, these um, this I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's not even though some of the markings are there see right there but there's some signs that says it's not another maybe this is a definite no one this cancels out itself at least I know this bracelet is supposed to have this clasp and the signature there. This bracelet, although the quality is really nice, it doesn't have that unless this was broken off at one time. And it's sized up in scale from this bracelet. And I think the, I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is a no. So, I have quite a few pieces that are uh, not Tiffany. Pretty sure total fakes. And I've got some that are definite they are. All right. I think we should get our... Advent calendars up to date. Oh, we've got a blue one finally. Gorgeous. It's very sparkly. I like that. What is the date? I think it's the 18th. I am behind, guys. So we're gonna do up to the 18. I'm having a hard time getting through these. I'm not ripping it to pieces, so. This one's an infinity. And this one is just some pretty. All right, where is our Gotta Finder? 
other guy. Guess what? It's the 19th. So, pulled another one of these out. And we'll pop another one out of the big one. We are behind. Sorry about that, guys. My insanely long ring collection video, which I tried my best to get it up in one video, pretty much split itself into four or five pieces and was a nightmare to get to you. And here's another one from the other calendar. So let's put all of these on here. Yeah, so like I was saying, the ring video kind of went crazy on us. It was impossible to get up and it crashed over and over and over and over and over. So it's been a treat and a half to get up. So we are a little bit behind on the advent calendars. And I just dropped all of these guys off their string. So let's get them all back on. And looking half decent. And hopefully I'm going to end this video in enough time that it's going to go up in one piece. I'm not pop. Guess what? It's the 19th. So, pulled another one of these out. And we'll pop another one out of the big one. We are behind. I'm sorry about that, guys. My insanely long ring collection video, which I tried my best to get it up in one video, pretty much split itself into four or five pieces and was a nightmare to get to you. And Here's another one from the other calendar. So let's put all of these on here. Yeah, so like I was saying, the ring video kind of went crazy on us. It was impossible to get up. And it crashed over and over and over and over and over. So, it's been a treat and a half to get up. So we are a little bit behind on the advent calendars. And I just dropped all of these guys off their string. So let's get them all back on. And looking half decent. And hopefully I'm going to end this video in enough time that it's going to go up in one piece. I'm going to all right, look at the amount of charms that we've pulled out of just two advent calendars. This is more than enough for two people. As we're running out of space and we've got four days left until Christmas Eve. But I do think both calendars have a bracelet 
two bracelets in them. Well, we did pull two bracelets out of the snowman one. Okay, Barbie. Let's get to the Barbie calendar. Everybody wants an update on her. And we're going to open that. We'll try to. Okay, number 18. pair of Barbie pants. Okay, I just noticed I wasn't filming. So, um, that's all for now. Um, so, of course, Barbie today got cut off a bit, but we pulled out some pretty Barbie pants, a cute little hat, and another necklace. So, the rest of the calendars will be coming up again tomorrow. We'll, we're totally caught up, but um, Barbie is supposed to be revealed on the 25th, and we're gonna break her out soon. So, because Vlogmas is over on the 24th. So, give me a vote on, um, when you want to see Barbie. If you want me to break her out tomorrow, because she's got to get dunked in water. She's a color reveal Barbie. Or should we wait until the 24th? Let me know down below in the comments and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.